Say hello to Brunilda. And let's say we want to know what is going on inside her head. Now to do so, we could take an X-ray image on which we can then clearly see things like her skull, her teeth, her brain. However, as such an image is a two-dimensional projection of a three-dimensional object, information is obviously going to be lost. If, for example, the unfortunate Brunilde were to have a brain tumor, we could then from this image determine that it's near the back of her head, but not whether it is in the left or the right hemisphere of her brain. Now, if you had taken the X-ray image not from the side, but from the front, then you could see on which side the tumor lies, but not whether it is near the front or near the back. So only by combining the information from two X-ray projections, you then get a fairly accurate estimation of the position of the tumor. But we still need something better. Because even if you know the location of the tumor, from basic X-ray images you can't determine its exact size, its shape, its composition and stuff like that. So to get to this information, ideally we want to have a look at a cross-section of Brunilda's brain. And a cross-section is the image that you would see if you were to open up Brunilda's head. But then preferably without actually doing that. Enter computed tomography. The word tomography comes, maybe unsurprisingly, from two ancient Greek words, namely tomos, which means a section or a slice of something, and graphene, which is to write. So tomography is simply the visualization of slices through an object. And computed tomography is then tomography in which this is done virtually and the object is not destroyed in the process. Now how this works in practice is that an object, for example a femur bone, is put in between an X-ray source and an X-ray detector. These then start rotating and X-ray projection images are acquired from all directions. Next, all this information is thrown together in what is called a reconstruction technique, which then does some mathematical magic, resulting in a virtual representation of the object that was scanned. 